big question is, what is the difference between hard water and soft water? Hi, I'm Jim the Grumpy Plumber. We get this question all the time. Do I need a water softener? Somebody says I do and somebody says I don't need it and stuff like that. The difference between hard water and soft water is the calcium and magnesium that's in the water. Okay. Now, when a softener goes in, this is a brine tank. This is a this is a softener itself. The brine tank is what keeps the salt to clean the water, okay? But this is what actually, what's in this is what softens the water. And when you have soft water, uh, your clothes you know, are easier to keep clean and they look better. Maybe your, your, your dishes and your, you know, you don't need much soap when you're doing the clothes and you don't need much soap when you use the dishwasher. You use about a quarter of it, which you need for that. Most people notice that when they're taking a, a shower or a bath, that they tend to can't feel like they get the soap off you. But that's I'm telling you, I guess, that you're actually wet. And uh, my story too is, my wife's one day getting her hair done and she didn't want a water softener. And the hairdresser says, you're married to a plumber. Don't you have a water softener? I put it in that night, by the way. But you know, people know the difference. Once they have a water softener, I complain at it at first, but then they never want to get rid of them. And they do a great job. And to find out, you know, you have it tested. You find out the, usually you'll test how hard it is. And I think anything under 13 grains hardness, you really don't need a water softener. And it takes out some of the iron content, not a lot of it, but it does take it out. It takes, you know, just cleans that water up. And people, big complaint years ago was my doctor says I can't have a water softener because of salt. Hey, that was the days my dad regenerated that water softener. Today, these are computer heads. I operate at a certain time each cycle. One cycle, first cycle is 10 minutes. The next one's 90 minutes. That cleans it, and the next thing washes it back is 10 minutes. Then it fills it back. You know, comes back and and fills the brine tank and the, all that stuff. So that's what it does when it runs for 90 minutes, and it's set. So that's why there's no salt in the water yeah. anymore. There's really no salt left in it. I mean, there might be a slight, you know, like they say, there's more salt in a McDonald's hamburger. Well, not too many of us go to McDonald's anymore. So you might need some salt in your water, okay, to make up for that. But yeah, it just cleans it. They're clean. And, you know, hell, you know, I don't, you know, swear by the salt in it, but, you know, uh, uh, like an RO, uh, drinking water system that, that will take out any remaining salt that's in it. And usually it doesn't do anything else. And, you know, the filters in them last a lot longer too. But yeah, water softeners, I think they're a necessity in some areas. If you're on city water, some city water might soften. Some are like in California, some of them are drawing out of the ocean. So it's supposed to be, you know, an RO that's cleaning the water. They haven't really got full bore on that thing going on yet. So, you know, but they're telling us they might. You know, you need a softener because there's more minerals in the water. That's the whole idea that you notice that your laundry is not as clean and different things. So the, the softener cleans that all up and it, and, it, and it saves your equipment. You don't see as much water spotting. You don't see, uh, you know, your faucets and stuff plugging up and slowing down and need more repair and stuff. This helps a lot. And if you're at city water, you know, we're on city water, but we still have to have a softener. It used to be in a town lived in many, many years ago. They softened the water. They said, well, we didn't have a water. Nobody had a water softener then on it. But most of the time, I don't think they're softening the water anymore. So even a well, most wells are hard, rec highly recommend softener, but you can get in some areas, boy, the, the water is, is, is really, really good and you don't need that. So. It's up to you, but you know, have it tested and you gotta trust that guy. And I mean, they can be pricey or you can do it yourself and not be so pricey. So, and if you don't believe what I got to say, don't ask the water softener guy.